Okay folks, we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to get really high quality images because the better the images, the more accurate your reading will be. Now we want to look at the hand here. First of all, you want to get out in the sunlight. You want to kind of have the sun come down over the top of your shoulder so it shines right on the hand so you don't have a lot of shadows on the hand. And you want to get the whole image of the hand, oh about a couple inches down the wrist and then leave a little bit of space above the fingers so we can see all those fingers so we can get a good depiction of the lengths of those fingers in relationship to the palm. And you want to be really careful here. Uh, let me pull up this image. You don't want to tip your fingers back. You want to have a nice clear image of that palm straight up and down so it's square on from the camera. Now we're going to look at the lines here. Let's expand this image a little bit. Of course you've got your uh, major lines, your lifeline here, your headline, your heart line, and then the fate line. So those want to be in there nice and clear. Now we're going to go to the minor lines and these are the lines that tell all kinds of different things about you. So you want to make sure that in this area right here just below this pinky finger or this mercury finger, this is your money lines. So you want to make sure this is nice and clear that there's no blurriness and that those lines come in nice and distinct. Another area we need to pay special attention to is around this lifeline because all these little lines that come off from the top here are your achievement lines. And they go all the way down and around that lifeline. You can see all these little tiny lines so you want to make sure that those are clear and in focus. And then when you get down around the palm of the hand you want to make sure that you've got some good clarity on these lines that come up here also. Now let me pull up this other image. Another area you want to pay special attention to is on the edge of this right hand, just below this pinky finger. So you want to make sure and get these lines to where they're towards the back there, but you can see part of this palm because these are your marriage lines that go horizontal and relationship lines. And then we want to be able to see these little tiny lines right here. These are your children lines and your grandchildren lines back here. So make sure that's nice and clear right there, that those aren't blurred. Let me show you a, a poor image. And we get this a lot actually. You can see where we can barely see these lines and we can't even see the children lines here. So make sure you get a good clarity on these lines here also. Now I'm going to show you the five hand positions that we need so that we can uh, make sure and get the hand shape, the finger lengths, and all those different aspects that we need for that reading. So uh, one of the images is this right hand. You want to get that kind of opened up. Actually, let's go to this image here. You want to see how that hand naturally opens up. Now, whenever you have a background behind there, make sure that background's about 10 to 15 feet behind you. That way that the camera will focus on these small lines. So one image is this open hand on the right hand. And then, let's see, let's go to this image. Then you want to make sure and get that image with your hands closed. So we can tell the true finger length here. Then the other image that we need to get, so that's the two right hand images. And then we need to get a left hand image. You can see how this image is a little bit blurry. So you want to open that hand up and make sure that you get a little bit above, a little bit below. Make sure to take all your jewelry off also. Actually, this is a little better image right here. On that left hand, we need to be able to see these little lines that come down here. These are your guardian angel lines. We need to be able to see down around the base of that palm also. So that third image would be a left hand. And then of course, we need to get the edge of that right hand. That'll be your fourth image. Make sure we get that nice and clear right there. Now the fifth image we need is this thumb side of the right hand and we need to see right here where that headline comes down and around the edge of the hand. So we need to see this section right here. Nice clear image. So that shows you how to get nice clear images because the better the images the more accurate the reading we can deliver.